She went from being a nurse in the Philippines in World War II to being one of the first RNs at what was the original Pleasant View Hospital. She turned 98 this year and has seen many changes, not only in her own life, but in Pleasant View as well. We are excited to welcome her here today as we feel it is important to acknowledge the past as we are jumping into the future. Please welcome Irene Hosking. September 1942, I was transferred from Fort Custer to Camp McCoy, which is now Fort McCoy, where I met and married a GI from Owasso, Michigan. The county farm being in within walking distance, I decided maybe that is where I should go. And the state was adamant about getting an RN to supervise the hospital. Uh, on the south, west, and north side, it was on ground floor. East side was underground. There were no windows. It was, um, they were small, and we had steam and water pipes overhead. What a beautiful sight. <laughs> From what the county has told us, the new Pleasant View will be the largest construction project in Shiawassee County history in several decades. And this is a prime example of what fiscal responsibility uh, to the hardworking taxpayers with efficient collaboration can look like. With 103,000 square feet on 10 acres of land and an estimated cost of almost $25 million, we are making another important piece of Shiawassee County history. an exceptionally happy moment in the history of Pleasant View. Board couldn't be happier to be able to offer to the community a new building. First, we'd like to thank the dedicated employees of Pleasant View. Every single day, they're meeting our residents with a smile. They are taking fabulous care of folks. We would like to thank Memorial Healthcare Development Corporation. It's their seasoned guidance that has helped us in the pre-planning stages and then, of course, in the planning stages to get this ball rolling so that we could be here today. We'd like to thank the Shiawassee County Board of Commissioners, and I see some folks out there, and other elected officials. We will continue to provide much of that needed medical services to the people in our community that need it most. This is just one more way that our beautiful county continues to grow and let this facility serve as, a, as an example for what can happen when we work together collectively for a common goal. Our motto is caring for life. We've used this motto for a long time. Even through the branding process and perception research over this past year, this motto still rang true. But most of all, I would like to thank our residents and their loved ones because they let us care for them every day. I look forward to the new Pleasant View where I am sure the latest equipment will be available to you who are aging and we do age, believe me. And you're going to be a great neighbor and a very, very impressive facility for the employees to work at as well. So I think the county will be very pleased with it and everyone can be very proud of that as well. So in closing, I'd like to say welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you very much. We're looking forward to seeing the new neighbors and most of all, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.